and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do um, a landing page um, and uh, get you started. Um, I'm using the Builder Roll software. There's no reason why you can't use any other software. Um, this really um, is about the same sort of thing. So what we can do is I'm going to go into Builder Roll now. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to set up uh, an email uh, responder. Um, that's normally what I would suggest is the best way to deal with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go um, into, let's just move me over here. That's it. And then we can have a look at the email responder. Oh, there is this little fella here. Marilyn Boss autoresponder. Okay, right, so I'm accessing mailing boss. Okay, so these are my lists. So basically, I'll show you my list now. You see here that these are my subscribers that I've got on my list. So I've got 7,774 of my builder role. Brain training for dogs, 2,678. Uh, um, and then I've got my store, 4,042. Um, and these are a couple which I obviously haven't got up and running yet, but they're sitting there just ready for when I build up the landing pages, a yoga weight loss. Um, so there's lots and lots of things here, okay? So this is just giving you an idea uh, how it works, all right? So let's say, for instance, um, we want to set this up. So what I want to do is give you a demonstration, basically, because a lot of people will get hang-ups on this, and uh, it's not actually that bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, create new, and we're going to name it. Now, um, say, for instance, um, my next thing I'm going to do is uh, for health. So I'm going to put this as health. And then I'm going to put help and health. Now remember, if I go too fast, guys, all you've got to do is just pause it, wind it back a bit, and then go forward again, okay? So that's the best idea. And I'm going to put health again for this, or Darren's health. So what we do now is this is... Um, this is a list, so I'm creating my subscriber list. So move me up here out of the way, all right? Right there. Okay, so now we've got an opt-in. Now, what basically what opt-in is is if you leave double opt-in, what happens is when someone puts their email in, it will send a response back to their email to say, "Are you happy for me to accept this email?" And then you click yes, and then. It then, um, so what it is, it's almost like a security thing. Now, what I would urge you to do is just to put it on single. So if you change these to single opt-ins, because if you have it on double opt-in, um, some people will sign up, um, and then what they do is, oh, I, can't be, I just can't be bothered to go to my spam folder and, and click and authorize it. And then you'll find that they just can't be bothered. And also, on some of the Gmail accounts, etc., it comes up as if it's a spam when it's not. Um, so if you put it in single opt, then what happens then is it, it's just an easy way of setting it up without having the hassles of that situation. Um, so that's that's what I would do. So you want opt in, single opt in, opt out, single opt out. Now what the tags are, the tags are, let's say for instance, um, you have a certain name or a certain help. And what it will do is it will then trigger this email to, to kick in. But, we don't have to worry too much about that because we're going to go to the next stage. Okay, it's created form now, successfully saved. Now, one of the key things that you need to do now is because of the new GDPR uh, privacy policies, so you don't get into trouble uh, with obviously collecting other people's email, you need um, their authorization. So what we want to do is just click on Create GDPR. And what this will do is when you get the email thing, it will come up with uh, name, and then it will come up with email, and then it will come up with, do you agree to the terms and use of the privacy policy? And they will just put a tick, and then that covers you, because Goodrow's got it all built in anyway, all right? 
uh, and I'm sure so of other landing pages. So, you know, it's not just related to this particular landing page. I'm just going to move my screen over here. So you can see there's lots of things you can add. At the moment, I've got great email field. I could have my first name. I could have my last name. I can have agreed terms of website use. I can have agreement of privacy policy. And I can have every red disclaimer notice. These things that you can add into it. So it's um, it's quite comprehensive. There's lots of things that we can add, etc. So what we'll do now is we want to add the save changes to that. And there you have it. All right, guys. So what we've got now is we've got your editing email, welcome email. So say, for instance, um, what we can do to do with that is when they get when they click on your subscriber and they decided that they want to subscribe to you, then this will be sent out by the autoresponder, which, which is built into build role in this particular uh, incident, which was editing the email. So it was come up with a welcome email. It will normally say their name if it's on there and then the welcome email. And then what you do then basically is it will say this is what is already defaulted. Uh, thank you for subscribing to blah email list you can update the information anytime by clicking here and it will also give you at the bottom that if they don't want to subscribe anymore at the bottom it will say if you don't want to um, subscribe to this please click on the unsubscribe and it will take take you off the list okay so i'm going to leave that for now because that sounds fine so we're going to click on that all right okay so that form is done now all right and now if you add any subscribers, you can import the subscribers, but be aware, you do have to have proof where your subscribers are coming from. And mailing boss will normally disable that option for you, allow you to transfer and import your subscribers across, and then you're up and running, as I said before. Right, so the campaign, what basically is, if you want to use a campaign, um, what a campaign is, is say you want an autoresponder, then you say, well, hi, welcome to um, my sort of like a subscriber list uh, i do a weekly blog blah 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 so you can have something like that and that could come out and then again that's going to your subscriber so you're giving them content you're giving them information which is going to help them uh, and that's something you can set up and then the sequence uh, create a new sequence is basically we can have one day two day three day four day five day up to seven days and you can go as many as you like i mean that's the beauty of this bit it's really really comprehensive loads of stuff we can do it's very powerful um, and it works really really well okay so that's that side and then what you'd have is when you get any subscribers you would have your graph which is here and it will show you as it's growing okay so that's that so we're going to click on as the campaigns grow and unsubscribers grow so that's that side all right so now we've done that what we need to do then is we need to close this down for now because it's all saved. So I'm going to close this bit down. Click on the off button. And we'll go back into the builder role. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to click on builders. We can click on drag and drop pixel perfect. And now I'm going to click on my sites. And you can see a whole list of my sites. Any minute now. Because I'm mining Rito coin at the moment. This is why it's a little bit slow. I do crypto as well. Incidentally, if anyone's interested in crypto and they want me to do a show on that or how to mine it, what to mine it with, give us a shout and I'll see what I can do for you. No problem. Right, so I've got me over here. So you can see, look, my best kept secret. All right, so I can actually open this up and I'll show you this is one that I designed uh, before. This took me about three days to design. Bear in mind that I, I work full time anyway. So let's just get rid of this. It's an update Windows is asking me to do. So you see here that I've designed this particular one. Uh, and what I've done is I've put my website in there as well. I've just clicked on that and what it will do is it'll open up my website. And there you go, Darren's web page full of stuff to help people help and wealth in general. And then I've got a couple of banners there. 
again if you want any help guys with uh, setting up the WordPress or anything like that how to promote it uh, I can show you how to do that all you gotta do is give me a text and I'll get on that there for you okay so that's that side and then obviously if you click on my blog this little fellow here opens up March 20, 2019 my beautiful old business and then there's a whole list there promotion basically of build the role and there's some videos etc feel free to have a look at that uh link will be at the bottom of the description please like subscribe and give me any comments if you have any that would be really cool all right so we're going back into this we'll shut this down so i just wanted to show you just a little link there and then of course if we click on any of these now at the moment you won't be able to access any of these because um it's in its um it's, well it's in its edit form all right so if i wanted to op operate this how i would do that i will show you okay um what you want to do is you want to create um we go back into there and then right mouse click and copy link address and click on plus and then paste it into there like that and then i'll go to enter page okay guys and basically this is how it is so you see here a little bit of comprehensive reading just explaining my limited offers etc you've just seen me open the website so we're going to put an email address in here now if it's already gone in it won't do it again if you had it on double and come up with my next best thing which is here okay so this is my best kept secret to weight loss and body three best kept secrets for losing weight and help with your body okay and then uh, here you see that i've got videos so this is the video running there here's the next one here Now this is all help guys okay now this information that i'm giving isn't scam or anything like that the idea of these is that um you're supplying uh information um which is going to help you. i've done a lot of research on these there's a lot of people it has worked for um and if we click on this one of course this is only going to work if you're in america if you're in england then it's not going to be very useful towards you because it's all about what you can find in the back garden which can help you remedies etc so there you go so if you want to go if you want to listen to any more on that then feel free to open up my landing page that's no problem at all and then i've created the information bars all right now i'm going to show you how to do all this here's the information bar now obviously I'm opening up this side and here we go. So this is the most powerful female fat loss trick. Now all these affiliate links are with ClickBank. So what you do is you sign up with ClickBank, uh, you get an affiliate link and then you paste that affiliate link or that link goes into here. So if anyone purchases anything from these videos, then you will receive a commission for selling that product. Okay. And now we'll go into a, a video, etc. So we, we're going to pause this now, guys. Okay. I'm going to come out, out of this one. So I can't obviously show you all the leads. So I'm going to come off that one. Make sure I've got the right one. I'm sorry. So copy. There we go. And then there's this one here we can click on. And I'll show you again how to do these links. So the idea is you want something catchy, you want something that people are going to look at and they're going to be a bit inspired by, and they're going to think, hey, what's going on here? You know? And that's the whole idea of it really. But again, do your research. You've got to have passion in what you're doing, and you've got to, you know, you've got to make sure that, that what you're going to push to other people that it's going to help help them 
um, you know, and I'm hopefully I'm supplying a remedy which is going to help them. And obviously I can profit, make a little profit margin as well. Okay, so that's that side of it. And then what I've done now, then this one, this is actually a bridge page. Okay, guys, so this is my bridge, which is this bit here. And then at the bottom, you'll see that welcome to the next level in diet and body control to a better you. A lot of research has gone into this information to target and help you with weight loss and body, mind and spirit. Now, if you click on this, this opens up my last page. You go, well done, you've just changed your life. If you're looking for passive income, click this link below. And of course, I love build a roll, so I'm promoting my own build a roll, which is right here. And then there's the link to purchase in it, so we can click on that, and that will bring up the build a roll web page. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll basically give it the prices. Okay, I don't want to sell the prop back. The idea of this of this particular presentation that I'm doing now. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into it. So we're going to go back into our build role. Let's move this over here, and we're just going to do a basic a basic landing page. Okay, guys. So so we're going to start, and then if you want to do the bridge, I will do the bridge at another stage. So we're going to click on building, drag and drop pixels, and now look down the bottom. There's a cell funnel. Okay, if I'm going too fast. Don't forget to slow the process down. Just move it back a bit on, on the actual video content. Okay, now if you look down here, video sales layer, invisible funnels, loads and loads of funnels here, lots and lots to choose from. Now, your best one to start with is this little fella here, which is called Squeeze Page Funnel. It will give you a blueprint. So we're going to click on here. And we're going to look at the blueprint, okay, guys? So if we have a look at this, now basically what the blueprint is, is it explains to you how it works, all right? So the idea is that this is a Facebook ad or any other ad. Um, you'll see on some of my videos, you can use Mix, you can use um, lots and lots of other things, um, Instagram, Quora, uh, there's, you know, there's loads and loads of things. YouTube, YouTube that is a very good one. Um, the list is endless, to be honest with you. Tweet, you know, so you can use Twitter. Um, and Facebook's good, but the problem is with Facebook is they're not that keen on affiliate links. And what they would do is they will actually sub queue some of your content. Um, so basically, this is going to be uh, what we're supplying, okay? And then it goes here to the squeeze page, which is what I showed you, and then the thank you page. And the idea is the squeeze page has got the affiliate links. And then, obviously, if they're not interested in that, because there is um, uh, a put uh, almost like um, a formula which people and scientists have worked out, but nine times out of ten, people that come to your web page or your landing page won't buy something immediately. They will normally wait till they've seen it about four or five times before they make their mind up. So the idea is with the email responder, you can just jog them and just say, oh, hi, I know so you saw so-and-so and you were quite interested in it. Uh, and you know it's been email sent to them and then they might think hey yeah that's quite good i'm going to go back to that and check it out and then that's when you can start in your actual email if you wanted to but oh, hi i know you were interested but this week only i'm doing a 10 percent discount hey that's great 10 percent discount well that's great you know i might go back to that now and, and purchase it because it's going to help you're, you're supplying the demand to help someone so that's that size so you see here that it comes down squeeze page goes to the first layer goes to the second layer and then goes to the thank you page okay now this is uh, this is your funnel blueprint now incidentally guys if anyone does sign up with me and build a role i have got pre-made already landing pages which i'll be giving out as bonuses and then all you've got to do is take off the videos put the new videos on uh change your affiliate links etc put your own affiliate link and you're up and running you know so it's all there so here goes your headline, good call action, etc. Squeeze page. We're going to click on edit template. And what it will do now is it will basically um, draw it out. It will basically give me a template what I'm going to start with. Right, so uh, let's just move this out of the way. Down there. So here's my email and my first name, okay? 
Now it's really important. Um, what you want to learn to do is because there's a couple of bugs, not too bad with build a role, but all you have to do is left mouse click, all right, right mouse click, and then you can move it up and around where we like to put it, all right, you can do that. that down to one size. Quite interesting the way we've got it's because I'm mining that's why it's quite oh, fascinating why we've got three three of me now on the screen. Oh um, yeah let's go back to this. Right so let's move this so we can see it. I'll move it over here all right. Okay so what we're gonna do is right mouse click comes up with text click on text left mouse click hold the button down scroll across take your finger off and put uh let's put a better help for you okay now normally I would do this in capital all right um, so we can click on bold and click on cap shift put cap shift on see what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it in capital better nice okay now if you want to change color highlight Click on this link here, text color, and we do red. Okay, now when you push button, that's in red. How easy is that? Center it out. Uh, same thing. Notice what I've done there, guys. Look, click on it. There's your box. You can extend this box, by the way. If you move that here, you can move this box backwards and forwards to make it bigger. So if you've got a lot more text that you want to put in, then you can squeeze it up as well. But bear in mind that you don't want to go over any of these lines, otherwise it will cause a little bit of corruption uh, when you've done your web page. So we're going to, again, left mouse click, right mouse click, text, it brings up the text editor. We're going to highlight it. And then what we're going to do now is put these and uh, Okay, and if you want to, you could add a picture, stuff like that. But at the moment, I just want to give you just a quick, quick way of just designing it. Now, the next step, what we have to do, okay, is this is our email provider, all right? Now, it's not connected, so what we need to do is left mouse uh, click, so it comes up with the box, right mouse click, go to configure, click on configure. So I'll start, oh, we don't know why. You have to save um, your uh, landing page before you can actually connect it because obviously it doesn't know what to connect it to. All right, so go up here and click on the save button. And now what you can do is you can add like Darren's health page. All right, and then click send. And then what that does now is that sends it to the server. It can take up to five minutes, but I don't normally have any problems providing you haven't got too much open up, otherwise it can cause a few issues. Okay, so then we're going to click save. And then it all changes to successfully save. It will take up to five minutes, but now that this has obviously gone into their server, left mouse click, so we're on the box, the email box, right mouse click, click on configure. What it does now is it brings up all of my email marketing where I can tap into so I can get into Git response, send alone, MailChimp, Drip, Utitic, and mine is mailing boss because it's built into build roles, so I don't have to worry. And you can see that I've got a lot of subscribers. So we're going to click on mailing boss. Now what it's asking me to do is to what mailing list would you like to connect this with? Now the first part of the video, we connected and made one called health. So I click on health, which is this one here. And you'll see instantly that the design that we did at the beginning was the email, and then it had the terms for the GDPR, which was I agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Okay. And then this little bit down here, we can edit that. If we left mouse click. Right mouse click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on button and I can change this and put 
fit your milk pack now. You can click confirm. And you'll see that there you go, it's, it's converted that to get your health pack now. Now, this is a, like I say, this is our landing page, okay? Now, when they click on this, they will get a thank you page. And then the thank you page, I'm going to move it to here. Here's our thank you page. So again, left mouse click, right, text, highlight, and then we're going to put great view of in. Okay. And then this one down here, with the left mouse click, right, text. Remember what I said, guys? Hold the left mouse button down, highlight. And put the link. Oops. For your spa. Now, your world is your oyster. Okay, you can put anything you like on this, anything catchy. It's up to you what you decide to do. Really. Now, I'm only putting this because I'm doing this quickly for you, just to show you how easy it is. Um, Okay, so you know you can probably like, but that, this is what I'm just trying to do. So what we do now, okay, is if we wanted to add a video presentation, we can mouse mouse click, click configure, and we can now add a video into here. Okay, so basically if, if I click on right mouse click, uh, what I've got to do actually is I've got to copy and paste my video link, okay? So say, for instance, if I go um, into my YouTube and I copy this, and I'm only using this as a demonstration, okay? Copy. Um, where are we? Find it. That's why you've got to be careful when you open so many links up, guys. Right, so left mouse click, right mouse click. Okay, now to paste it, you need to push Control and V. All right, and it will enter it. Because if you don't do that, what what will happen? Well, I've got to lose connection, guys. Just give me a minute. What will happen is if you don't do that. Um, you'll find that copy and paste it, it won't recognize it. So that's how you can do it. I mean, you can have it to auto play, but there are a lot of places that don't allow that. So it's best just to leave everything as it is. Then click confirm. And what it will do now is it's, it's installed my Make Money Online. Okay. Now, again, if you was doing an affiliate link, you would have gone to ClickBank, you would have chosen your affiliate link, and you would have done it that way. All right, so that's, that's this side of it, okay? Now, what we want to do now is we want to create a call to action, which is down here. So we can put, uh, say for instance, we want to call an action. Um, the best way I would do it for you is left mouse click, right mouse click, text. We want to highlight that. And then when we write something in, what it will do is it will just overwrite that. So put and take the next half. I can't spell. Okay. And then call of action, what we do basically is we right mouse click. And we want to go to action, and it will give you a whole list of things which you can do. So you could have it so an email is sent straight out to them, a web address, a document, but you'd have to use Dropbox if you use a document because it needs to have a server for it to be able to join. So, say for instance, I want to do a, a textbook, for instance, um, i.e., an ebook. Okay, 
Um, then what I would do is I'd click on document um, and then I'd click on file search and then I'd have to upload the file and then it will go to my Dropbox. So if I click on now, I should have somewhere on here, I should have in my network. Should have a Dropbox. Mm, I'm now. It might not be on this computer actually because I'm using a different computer, so it's quite possible it's not on there. I will explain why I can't find it. I'm just going to close this down. Just going to check to make sure. Bear with me. Double checking. Yeah, it's on my other computer. That's why I haven't got a Dropbox on this particular computer. So. But that's how you do it anyway, okay? So you, you'd use Dropbox. So we obviously can't upload that file because we need it to be on the server. And um, you can't have it where it can upload for you through your hard drive. It needs to be on the server for it to do it properly. Otherwise, when your computer's off, it's not going to find it. All right. So what we do then is we're going to do a different call to action. So we're going to click on here. We're going to just cancel this down. So we're going to click on left mouse click, call to action. Now, I know this sounds a little bit technical, but it, honestly, it does get easier. So don't worry too much about it. The more you do it, the easier it gets. I mean, I had to start somewhere, and I'm sure you will start somewhere without any problem as well. So what we're going to do then, okay, so we're going to create a link, all right? So we're going to call, call to action, right mouse click, action, and <clears throat> back to the previous menu. Then we're going to go to web address, and then we're going to put a link in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up uh, my affiliate links. So I'll go to File Explorer, I'll go to Documents. Let's do the fact disseminator, okay? So what we've got now is I've got my affiliate links here. So I'm going to grab this one. So copy and paste. A lot of things are copy and paste in this. Copy that link. It's just a case of just getting your head around it. All practice you do, the easier you get. So again, like I said, right mouse click, but you can't just paste it. You have to control and V. That's what ends it. And then click OK. And that's our call to action. Our call to action is in there. So the next stage now is to test it, guys. Okay, so if we go to preview, and what it does now is it's allowing me to preview what I've done. And my call to action, if I click on that call to action, uh, oh, yeah. So when, what you want to do is right mouse click. So we come back out of that. So uh, we're out of our preview. Right mouse click. What you want to do actually is your action. You want to change this tab to open in a new tab, all right? Now click OK. Okay, now we'll go to preview. And now when we click on the call to action, it will open it in another box. And then that will set off um, that. And of course, if anyone buys anything from this, you make a commission from it, guys. Okay, because that's what your affiliate link does. And you can see that this video will start playing out like so. It's really good, actually. This goes on for about 20 minutes, but it's really, really interesting. <laughs> it's quite fascinating. Right, so we're going to close this one down. Okay, so we got back to this. Now, what we've got to do now is we've got to connect um, our landing page and our other page together. So we're going to go back into this. We are going to go back to squeeze page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give it uh, permission for it to connect to. Okay, so how we do that is quite simple. So 
right mouse click, change the URL, and what we do now is pending subscribe. So say for instance, um, they this only works if you're in op two, okay? If you're in op one, it won't work, but if it's in op two, this is how it works. So pending subscribe, what I basically do is click on this, change the page, and then click select, and I would change this back to squeeze page. All right. Now the reason being is because someone won't bother putting their email address in. So the idea of having it in the first place is that they go through the squeeze page so you get their email address and then they go to the thank you page where they get their information. Okay. So set your page and subscribe to that. Then set the subscription confirmed. And set up the thank you page. Okay, so we click on here. Just a bit slow, guys, unfortunately. It's just why I'm mining away and filming at the same time. Change that to the thank you page. Oops. And then click OK. And then unsubscribe confirmation. You can have going back to the squeeze page again. All right. And what you'll find is they probably email you and say, could you please take me off the list because um, I don't want to be on that list anymore. And which you can do, you can do it manually. One can email them and say, okay, guy, but is there any particular reason why? You know, you can just find out why. So we'll put that. Then we're going to click confirm. You see, your has been successfully saved. Click confirm. Now, I'm just going to double check to make sure that the email is all connected up properly, which we know goes to goes to health. It comes up there with the GDPR, so that's all fine. And then we're going to click save. And you see now that the thank you and the squeeze page are all going to be saved because they've been updated. Now, don't panic too much. So if you're working, say for instance, you go back into edit, and you work on the squeeze page and then when you click to save it it only comes up the squeeze page and not the landing page it's because it's only updating the bit that it needs to update so don't panic too much on that side of it okay and then that's basically it guys this is your first landing page okay with the thank you page and then we're going to do now is this, it's all saved all right so what we do now is if we go let's close this down we're going to come out of this leave and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our builder role, all right? And you'll see here, what I'm going to do now, scroll down, and there should be one that says health. I might have to just refresh it. There we go, that's Darren's health page. And you'll see at the moment that the actual page isn't online. Now, to put it online, all we do, guys, right, is we click on this here, which says publish. Click OK. And then hover over this Darren's page, which will come up in a blue, so we know it's online. Right mouse click, copy link address. Now we cross to open up a tab. Left mouse click, right mouse click, paste, enter, and there's your landing page. Hey, presso. And then what we do now is if we put an email address in, click on that, and then click enter. There you go. Great URL. Click the link below, and that's it, guys. That is basically all up and running. See the video and everything. Like I say, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave any um, comments if you have any. And uh, till next time, thank you very much. And uh, the next one I'll be doing is probably going to be a bit more advanced. We'll try the brick page, uh, and I'll try and help you on that side. Now, if you are interested in build a role, you'll find the link below. If you do join up with me, uh, I will be supplying you with bonuses and I will be supplying you with some of my landing pages which have been converting really well. Okay guys, thanks very much. Bye now.